When I realized that Dana was out to get me, I completely felt helpless. I didn't know what was next. I felt so far away. Hey yo, what's good internet? Welcome back to Grim. Real quick guys, if you hear any weird noises, I got some people doing roofing outside of my apartment at like 6 p.m. for some reason. So yeah, just ignore that if you can. Hopefully it won't pick up on the mic. But today we're going to be covering my favorite topic ever, which is middle-aged women whose lives revolve around Facebook. Well, obviously I'm kidding. It's not my favorite topic, but this stuff does make me laugh a fair amount. So I'm sure you guys know the type. Usually you know they're moms that are either stay at home or have access to a computer at work, and all day they just sit on Facebook, posting memes from three years ago that they think are hilarious and sharing stories of obviously fake news that support their political beliefs. You know, mixed with the occasional hacking, they probably thought they were actually gonna get those Ray-Ban sunglasses for $9 like the ad said, but instead it just caused them to spam every one of their friends with the same phishing link. You know, those type of people. Well, today you're about to meet two of them that apparently don't like each other very much. So let's see why. Now, Kelly claims that she's being stalked by a woman she's never met named Dana. Now, she says Dana was a member of her secret Facebook group. A secret Facebook group? Holy cow. Oh wait, you just mean the private group, like 90% of the groups on Facebook. It's not like you have to go into the deep web Facebook version to join this group. You just have to message someone to get in. Super secret. So this first lady you're meeting is named Kelly and she is the supreme leader of this group. She started it and sees herself as kind of a personal therapist for the members of this group. And she's not a therapist though. She's a cosmetologist, which is not even in the same ballpark or even remotely close. So here's where she messes up and the other lady is gonna have the same point that you're gonna meet later. But she thinks she can just help all these women with her limited knowledge of therapy, but Honestly, she can't, and she has the ability to really mess some people up by not knowing what to do correctly. You know, there's probably a reason that people have to get a degree to become therapists. Maybe she doesn't realize that, but you can't just be in therapy yourself and then say, yo, I'm gonna start a Facebook group myself and do this online. It'll be dope. Dana completely distorted every aspect of what I was trying to do. She ruined my life. Dun, dun, dun. A new challenger has arrived. Welcome in Dana, everyone. <laughs> this is the so-called stalker that is out to ruin Kelly's life, supposedly, and make her group go down the drain. I say that pretty jokingly because you'll see shortly that she's actually the only sane one out of the two and is at least somewhat grounded in reality, despite the fact that she spends most of her day on Facebook. So at first, Dana actually got promoted to becoming an admin for this group. And when that first started happening, she started to disagree with some of the ways that Kelly was doing things, mainly the fact that she was trying to provide therapy to people that actually really needed it and was afraid that with her being obviously way undertrained and unqualified to provide such a service, that she was going to royally screw up someone and possibly cause them danger. First, let's see what happened between these two to get them so mad at each other. Grab your popcorn, folks. But on July 11th, Kelly made an announcement. Effective immediately, this page is being shut down. Well, next thing Kelly knows, she's fired from her job. So man, this chick gets her page shut down and a lawsuit against her and gets fired from her job. C -c -c combo So yeah, Kelly is obviously pretty angry about this as this is her pride and joy, this group. I mean, she's treated like some all-knowing god and when it goes away, what is she gonna do? Be a normal member of society again? Oh God, no. Then a mysterious package arrived with a bizarre message reading, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Wait, is she getting sued or did she just win a game of PUBG? Imagine the smug satisfaction on that sender's face when typing that out. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna trigger Kelly so hard. She's gonna get so mad, LOL. And I only say LOL because you know, Facebook moms always type it in all caps. So it's exposed here that the reason for this all popping off is that Kelly basically banned Dana from the group, all because she stood up to the way that Kelly was running things. When that all happened, Kelly posted a status about Dana that basically dragged her for being a bad person and admin, even though she was only trying to tell Kelly what she should be more careful of and to leave the therapy to professionals. I said, actually, she is the of bat crazy. When Dana saw the screenshot of the post, things went wild. I'm sorry guys, but with the censorship there, I really can't understand how that would make sense. I'm like trying to put in different cuss words there and just none of them add up. She is the bleep of bat crazy. <laughs> Bro, maybe she typed that out of passion, but someone tell me how that is a grammatically correct sentence. A few weeks later, I received a exploding glitter bomb. And the glitter, it was in, in the shape of, of male sex organs. 
Uh, it went all over my face. <laughs> Yo, you guys have to admit, Dana is a real one for that. Imagine getting an exploding glitter penis in the mail, along with a note that says, winner, winner, chicken dinner, all because you made another Facebook mom mad. <laughs> she should have emailed her a video of her doing a Fortnite dance too while she was at it. And I had just gotten out of the hospital with pulmonary embolisms, so the, the, the fright that it caused, it could, have, it could have been detrimental. Kelly, be real with us. I don't think you would have died from shock at this glitter exploding in your face. <laughs> The way she talks is so annoying. You can just tell her whole world is revolving around her and she has that super high status in her head just because she's the owner of this secret Facebook page, as Dr. Phil likes to put it. I was so scared of the next glitter penis. It could arrive at any day and scare me into a heart attack. I just wanted it all to stop and for Dana to leave me alone. Wah, wah. So here she starts talking about how she's so scared of this evil Dana and all the things she has been planning on doing to her. You know, what, what if I find a job and she stalks me again and gets me fired from that one too? Well, here's the funny part of that. It actually wasn't fully Dana's fault at all that she got fired from her job. Her work simply found out that she was working on this Facebook group while on sick leave from her job and being paid for it. So it is 100% her fault from the get-go for doing that. Kelly was very much an attention seeker. She did a lot of video posts and would thank everyone and say, I know that you need me. Kelly's Facebook group was like a fan club to her. Okay guys, so here is Dana's side of the story. And I really gotta side with her on some of this stuff, man. It feels like Kelly uses this only to fulfill her ego and makes herself feel important as I'm sure doing the same career for 30 years or however long she said earlier has made her feel somewhat complacent and stuck in life. I mean, it would do that to anyone. But still, it's super dangerous to do what she's been doing, honestly. Kelly would say, here is something that you can use for when you're having a panic attack. Here is the safe color. I would always end with, you know, what is your favorite color? The safe color. <laughs> this is something that Kelly apparently really pushed into the group. And she would basically say, what's your favorite color? And then when they answered, she replied, that's your safe color. Find that color and look at it when you're in times of stress or sadness, and it will help you feel safe. Well, Kelly, I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but every time I've been depressed or anxious, looking at my favorite color has not done a single thing to help me. <laughs> so your methods need a bit of work. Basically, guys, the rest of this clip is just Dana making fun of and exposing Kelly's very rudimentary and sometimes completely wrong way of doing therapy for those women that she met online and that are in this group. She exposes the fact that if she does something wrong, she simply doesn't own up to it and that this group is just like a fan page for her so that she can feel like people are depending on her and apparently that makes her feel good. Seriously though, think about it. If someone's already unstable and they're on a Facebook group to get support, they don't even know who this Kelly woman is or if she's even qualified. So if she tells them something wrong and that like triggers them into getting more depressed or something, that could end up in a very bad situation. All right, I saved the best for last, but first I have a quick challenge that only takes five seconds to complete. So if you can leave a like and subscribe within the next five seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just give it a try, it really works. And the only reason that Dana even came at Kelly in the first place is the fact that she made that post when she got kicked. You know, the bleep of Bat Crazy and a bunch of other stupid stuff. She simply just wanted the post deleted because it was dragging her name. And when Kelly refused, that is when Dana hired a lawyer. Well, I should say that in quotes as he's not a real lawyer. To get information on Kelly and the group so that she could take it down. Speaking of that guy, well, he found an audio recording of Kelly and sent it to her employer when they realized she had been working on this group on paid sick leave like I was saying. Now, Kelly declines the fact that this audio recording is her, even though she doesn't even know what the clip was about. Well, let's just listen to it and see what you guys think. Hey, y'all, it's me. It's a new page. The first thing we need to do is try to build the page back up. I'm not going to talk about what happened to the other page. So I don't know about you guys, but that seems pretty obvious that that's her. Let's see how she plans on covering this up or how she's going to react to it. You know, she'll probably be pretty level headed and calm, right? And after that, that's me. That's you. But that was, well, that was horrible what I said. <laughs> oh my God. Her startled eyes mixed with that quivering lip is so funny to me. Like this lady just got exposed out here for lying and her defense mechanisms are very, very telling. Kelly, you gotta work on that before you start playing poker, all right? Or else you're gonna lose a lot of money. That was me, but shoot, that wasn't very good of me to lie like that. My bad. To continue on, I mean, the show goes on with these two just fighting back and forth on stage, and frankly, guys, I don't even feel the need to show that at this point. You know it's going nowhere, and the final verdict for me is, one, that Kelly needs to not do this group, as she is putting others' mental health at risk, and she just isn't qualified. 
And number two, Dana needs to chill with her PUBG glitter bombs and just forget about all of this. I think the two simply just let this group get to their heads and make it way more important than it actually is. And maybe they just need to get off of Facebook for a while and get grounded back into real life. As this seems to be all that matters to them, and that's kind of ridiculous. Let me know what you guys thought of these two down in the comments below as always, and make sure to leave a like if you guys enjoyed. I'll make sure to see you in the next video. Peace out.